Hi, Doug Tillman from the Customer Technical Education Center in Cincinnati, and in this CFM Leap Maintenance Minute, we're going to cover the procedure for removing moisture from the PS3 and the P3B sensing system. Over time, under certain operating conditions, moisture can build up in the PS3 line and the P3B line as well as inside the pressure subsystem box. Um, if that moisture builds up, it could cause a blockage in that signal, which could result in a loss of thrust control. So this procedure is going to take you through the steps uh, to remove any of that moisture from the system. So to get started with the procedure, the first thing we need to do is disconnect the PS3 line and the P3B line from the pressure subsystem box. I've already taken the liberty of cutting the safety wire, being sure to use a backup wrench on the fittings. We're going to go ahead and loosen those. And then we can remove the lines by hand. With the lines removed, the first thing we want to do is remove any standing water in the PS3 port. So using a, a plastic pipette or a plastic syringe, insert it into the port. We'll go ahead and do this procedure to remove any standing water that might be in that port. It's important to remove any of that standing water because if you don't and you uh, apply the vacuum, that water could get into the vacuum pump and could affect the efficiency of the pump. So now we have the standing water removed from the PS3 port. We're going to go ahead and connect the hose from the vacuum pump. With the vacuum pump hose connected by hand, we uh, now want to go ahead and torque that fitting to refer to the procedure for the recommended torque value. Uh, be sure to always use a backup wrench and a calibrated torque wrench. If the ambient air temperature is below 64 degrees Fahrenheit, a preheating procedure is going to have to be accomplished on the PS3 port. Refer to the table in the procedure for the setting temperatures for the variable temperature heat gun. You need to apply that temperature to the area of the PS3 port for a minimum of four minutes prior to starting the vacuum pump. And we need to keep applying that temperature to the area throughout the entire vacuum procedure. We are ready to apply the vacuum procedure to the PS3 port on the pressure subsystem box. We have the vacuum pump from the recommended kit connected with the hose to the PS3 port. On this particular vacuum pump, there are two valves. There is a blocking valve and there is a pressure relief valve. These valves are shown here in the open position. Throughout the procedure, it's very important to make sure that this blocking valve always remains in the open position. We are going to be opening and closing the pressure relief valve to apply and relieve vacuum from the PSS box. So now we can turn on our vacuum pump. And once it reaches speed, we can close the pressure relief valve and we want to verify on the gauge that we have achieved a vacuum of at least 29 inches of mercury and we want to keep that vacuum on the PS3 port for a minimum of 20 minutes. Okay we're uh, done with our procedure now so we want to open the relief valve and we can turn off the pump. Now that we have completed the procedure for removing moisture from the PS3 port on the pressure subsystem box, we need to ensure that we don't have any moisture in the lines themselves as well. So on the PS3 line, using a source of clean, dry, compressed air or dry nitrogen, we are going to apply that to the end of the PS3 line and blow out any moisture that might be contained within that line. Apply air pressure to blow out the PS3 line for a minimum of three minutes and until no moisture is seen coming from the weep holes. Now that we have completed that procedure for the PS3 port and sense line, we need to repeat the procedure for the P3B port and sense line. Now that we have completed the dry out procedure on the P3B system, we can go ahead and remove the hose and restore the engine back to its serviceable condition. Before connecting the P3B and PS3 lines to the pressure subsystem box, we need to lubricate the threads of the coupling nuts with a little bit of clean engine oil. 
and wipe any excess oil off of the lines. And then reconnect the lines to the pressure subsystem box. Once the lines are reconnected to the pressure subsystem box, we want to go ahead and torque the fittings to the recommended torque value found in the procedure. Once the lines are torqued, we're going to go ahead and make sure that those lines get safety wired. With the fittings reconnected, torqued, and safety wired, be sure to follow the procedure for any ground runs or ground tests that need to be accomplished. That's it for moisture removal from the PS3 system. We'll see you next time.